This overview for The Sims 4 Seasons is powered by EA Game Changers. Hey guys, it's Vi, welcome back to my channel. And if this is the very first time you've been here, hi, hello, I'm Vi, welcome to my channel. Today, I am really excited because we are about to hop into the buy mode, guys. And we're gonna see everything that the new Sims 4 Seasons has to offer in that buy mode. I am so stinking excited. This is gonna be the very first time I've seen this stuff and I cannot wait to see what they've given us. So without further ado, my friends, let's hop right into buy mode and check it out. Alrighty, folks, here we are in buy mode and I have filtered everything for seasons. So I am hopeful that I catch everything. If there's anything I miss, I really, really apologize. But as far as I know, this is going to be everything. Um, I put up some walls here, a room, and we're just gonna have at it. We're gonna check out everything. Let's do it. So the first thing we have here is the draping palace single. It is a bed, of course. So let's check out this bed. Hold on, let's move over here just a little bit closer to all our stuff here. This is adorable. Look at all the patterns. These are great. So I'm going to have to apologize because I'm like 95% sure you're going to be able to hear uh, me switching through the different colors because of my keyboard. I have a different keyboard. It's amazing. It's just a little bit on the louder side than my last one. So I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it. So where is that one that I saw? This, this is so cute. So I'm gonna leave it at this one. I really, really, really like all of this drapes, like the curtains or drapes, whatever you wanna call them. Those are really neat. EA has been stepping it up with all of their meshes and all of their, their patterns and textures and stuff. And guys, I think this might be the very first time, I could be wrong, you can correct me if I am, this is the first time I have ever seen uh, bedspreads that go all the way to the floor. Normally they look like very military corners, very precise, and they don't look like that. Custom content looks like that, guys. Custom content does. Not base game or um, any of the packs, actually. I don't think any pack has that. I think this is the first time. I'm impressed. This looks like custom content. It does not look like something that EA has put in my game ever before. This stuff is amazing. So if I had any custom content that looked similar to this, it's going to be coming out of my game because there's there's really no point to keeping it. The stuff is fantastic. This looks like custom content. Guys, I'm impressed. We are two objects in and I am impressed. <laughs> That's crazy. So here's another bed and this one, a little less impressive. I think it really comes down to the, the, the bedspread or uh, what do other people call it? Um, duvet cover. Um, I really think it comes down to that and it looks really striking. This bed is not really my favorite. It's got some nice different colored uh, variations, but overall, I'm not impressed with the bed itself. So I'm not happy with that one, but these first two beds I showed, mm, fantastic, my friends. So that's it for our beds, but we do have some more things for comfort. We have, it looks like, uh, this is more pillows, recreational lounger. Ooh, look at that. I like the pillow on the background. Like I said, this stuff kind of looks like custom content. Same could be said for this chair, especially in those patterns. That's kind of cool. I like this one. I'm going to leave it on that. We have this chair right here, a living chair. Less than impressive, kind of matches that bed back here, if I'm honest. But with the wood detail, it kind of goes with that chair too. It just looks like a more squat version. <laughs> I'm not overly impressed with it, but there you have it. Uh, we have this one, which is a wicker roost is what it says. Ooh, guys, look at the wicker bottom on that. That's pretty fancy. I like this. This could be indoor outdoor chair or porch chair, whatever. I like it. I like the details. Looks fab. We've got this one, which is a dining chair. Yes. I'm not such a big fan of the high back, but if there are chairs that mix and match, I mean, they don't really go together, but maybe we have something else from a different pack or from base game that has the same kind of feel and would look good because if so, these would look good at the head and foot of a table and different chairs in the middle. That might be pretty cool. But if I put these all around, I'm not so sure I'm gonna like it. I'm not a fan of high back chairs like that. We have this uh, sofa love seat and it matches the second love seat that I popped out. Uh, let's check it out in the different patterns. And I do like it. I do like the pillow in the middle very much. That's pretty cute. It reminds me kind of something that you would get with the city living or with the spa day as well. So I think that it has some good, 
I don't know, it kind of integrates with the other stuff pretty well, I think. Ooh, yay! And this, of course, matches the very first love seat or the very first leaving chair that I pulled out. So I'm just going to pop it in that because we're going to have all the same colors and it's all going to be matchy matchy because that's what EA does. And I appreciate when they do that. So we also have a window seat. And let's check out the different colors with a window seat. And what I like that they have been starting to do, I believe uh, my first pet came with it and cats and dogs did, is they came out with these window seats. And what I like about them is they don't match 100% with the other stuff. They're not identical. They just complement each other really well. So it gives a little bit more variance to your builds because then it's not like the same sofa in a different size. It's literally a different sofa, but they complement each other really well. So the same could be said for this one, because look at this, it's got the purple, it's the exact same type of couch, but the variance is there, so it gives a little more excitement to your builds, and I appreciate that very much, and I like it. That's everything we have for our, quote, comfort. So that's your chairs, your beds, and your sofas. Uh, let's move on to some surfaces. We've got this dining, dining table, and this is gonna look good with the high-backed chair, and it might be okay with the wicker chair, but I probably would put it with just the high-backed chairs if I'm honest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna grab that one. I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're on there. So there we go, that way you can see what's going on. We have the one table. Um, it says, one table to rule them all, one table to greet them, one table to bring them all, and in the seasons, feed them. It says it's not used for dining, but really, it's a great table, precious even. It has a tablecloth for every occasion. Well, a bit festive, but who's counting? Warning does not withstand lava. Okay guys, I love this. It's a nerdy piece. I approve, and that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, so let's look at the different uh, patterns. Actually, I'm gonna, I know I'm panning out and I really apologize for my erratic movements. Let's check out all the different patterns because uh, we're gonna have a bunch because this is, like it said, one table to rule them all, my friends. So it's gonna go for every single season. Yes, it does so far. I'm loving it. I love it. This is an amazing table. So this table is pretty cool. I'm going to leave it on, where was that one? Where did it go? That one was pretty cool too. Gosh, guys, there were so many neat ones. I'm gonna put it on this one for the uh, Thanksgiving version, and I'm not sure what it's called in game because I haven't had any gameplay yet, but we, We'll see. We'll, we'll discover that on our own, quote, together. You know. So we have this skinny table. Let me see what it says about this one. It's a hall table. So this is an accent table. And that means we get to put goodies on it. And it's encouraged. So there you go. I'm going to show you real close. Closer up anyways. It looks like it's got concrete and wood and glass. And I like having all those different textures and types in one piece. That's pretty nifty. We have the budding blossom end table. So we have an end table. Ooh, so let's see, um, let me check our colors. So we have the standard colors in this one. Um, the front uh, drawer changes colors. I appreciate that, that's pretty cool. And what I'm gonna do, cause I just noticed that it's doing it, but I won't be able to show you and swap through colors without moving this piece, but this whole back piece changes colors too, or side piece rather, um, it's pretty cool. That's a really neat end table. I like it and it could be an end table for your beds or something and it looks good from multiple angles. So that's a really nice end table. Like I approve of that, that's really nice. We have the timber block, which in my opinion, looks like a boring block of wood. And it comes in your standard wood colors and honestly, I am not impressed. I'm not impressed with this. Um, here you go. <laughs> I'll show you. It looks like concrete and a broken piece of wood shaped to a block. Um, I would like to know what you do with it, if anything. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to go into it. I just don't know what to do with it. We have a quirky cute coffee table. Say that 10 times fast. I dare you. Um, let's see. Let's check some colors. Ooh, I like it in blue. So we have kind of our standard colors and they don't get really funky. I mean, they have a pink one, which is kind of a funky color, but yeah, there you go. Um, not overly impressed. I do like the fact that it's probably a coffee table and it sits really low and it is a four tile. So, I mean, that is a redeeming factor, but overall style wise, eh, it leaves me wanting more. We also have the timber coffee table and this looks like some stacked pallets and it's okay. Um, 
I'm not overly excited, but this would be good for an outdoor display. I mean, if you had outdoor furniture and you were, had a big old display in the backyard, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it'd look good with some build mode items. I'm not sure. Not a fan of that one. Not a fan. Um, we have the illustrious secretaire. Uh, so it's like a little desk. That's pretty. You know, that matches the, um, the wicker chair. Let me get that because that's really pretty. And I think this would look really nice next to it. Like, here you go. Obviously not in those colors, but guys, that's a pretty cute little setup here. We've got the Daring Hall Tree. Ooh. So with Laundry Day stuff, we got something kind of similar to this, but this one has more of your season nod, a nod to the seasons, because you have scarves, you have galoshes or rain boots, whatever you call them, and you've got sweaters and that's pretty awesome. So that's a nice little piece there. Actually, it's kind of a big piece. I don't know why I called it a little piece, but you know, whatever, whatever. We have the Timber Buffet. Ooh, guys, you can see the plates and stuff inside. Ooh, that's pretty nice. This is like a sideboard is what I would call it. I don't know what you call it. If you call it something different than a sideboard, you should put that in the comments. Tell me what you call them. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this, but you can see that it's got things stacked up in here. There's plates and cups and all kinds of fun stuff. That's a nifty little piece because that's kind of custom content-y stuff too. They do a lot of that kind of stuff with custom content. All right, so that's it as far as surfaces go. And we're moving straight into our plumbing. So we have Ain't That a Slate Sink. So we have a sink here. I'm just gonna scroll, eh, that's probably good enough. So we can see the sink. I love the details on this one. So I'm not a huge fan of, um, well, like I was saying, whoa, buddy. I'm not a huge fan of this kind of stuff. Like it's okay, um, like this uh, coffee table and this really rustic, um, yeah, the rustic coffee table is not a fan of. However, I do appreciate the wood and the stone and what would be maybe considered like concrete type stone. The textures on that are pretty awesome. I like it. So respectively, we have a toilet that is going to match it. So it is matching the sink and I'm just going to pop it there. And we also have a matching shower, I'm assuming. Oh wait. Oh guys. Oh my goodness. This is totally different. So I'm going through some swatches and then when I stop, we're going to check this out because I assumed that everything was going to be matchy matchy, but I'm a liar. It matches, but it is an identical stuff. Guys, take this in. Ooh, look at that. Look at the, the uh, shower head and everything. And it's got like, I guess those would be considered like subway tiles or something. How cool is that? That is a really awesome shower. I know like, Seriously, in The Sims, that is the only time that it's really acceptable to be excited about freaking showers. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're a homeowner. Then I'll give you that as a pass. But, you know, honestly, showers. I'm excited about showers. Ah, <sighs> The Sims, what a wonderful place. All right, so we also have the matching tub, which is super cool. So it's going to come in the same colors, of course. I'm not going to go ahead and scroll through them because I'm not. But, oh, look at this. You can see the little drain and everything. Guys, this is super cute. So that is the new, um, like all the new plumbing, the new bathroom stuff. And that stuff is stunning. Like I can just imagine all of the amazing bathroom builds. I know a lot of people are not so excited about bathrooms and they're like, oh, I never do them. I don't like to do bathroom builds. But honestly, I think the reason nobody likes it is because we just haven't had the right pieces. And I think with this combination right here, they're starting to give us some of the right pieces and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. The next thing here on our list is the scouting badge board. Now I have heard that teens can do this. So I'm going to read the description. It says to progress through the scouting ranks, scouts must perform good deeds to earn different scouting badges. Scouts can use the board to check their progress and to receive badges when they've earned them. Um, I don't know if children can participate, but I have been, I have been told or I've seen information that me that for teens that they can use this and it's kind of like a job but not really a job. It's hard to describe and we're going to have to discover this in gameplay. Like you're just going to have to play with it. I mean that's the beauty of having an expansion pack that adds some really new stuff is there's going to be so much to discover and we're going to have so much fun finding out all the stuff. So there's this little scouting board. So I'm excited to try that in game. I really am. I'm excited to pop into game and just go nuts. Have fun checking everything out. All right. So we also have this one. Violets are blue flower arranging table. 
Yes, my friends, you heard me right. This is a flower arranging table. You guys can, can learn the flower arranging skill. And by you guys, I mean your Sims. So this is a new thing. It's new, it's new stuff, it's fun. And this little piece here is adorable. I love it. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. I love it. So they have completely overhauled everything for the gardening stuff. And this is like another bonus thing that they've thrown in and it's a new skill. And I'm so excited to try this. Um, you can make bouquets and you can give them away or you can put them in your houses. And that's a dream come true. Like, this is awesome. I'm so excited to play with this. It's great. It's great. So we're going to move on to some more other objects, some more randomy things it looks like. Alrighty. So we have this one. It's called the pile of presents and it's kind of a meager pile of presents. I was kind of expecting something more like something bigger and more exciting. Um, I don't know if this is something that you can use during the quote Christmas time that happens in game. Uh, I, I don't know if this is just purely a decorative piece. It really doesn't say anything. It just says it is scientifically proven that when presents are stacked vertically, it creates 48.32% more satisfaction when opened. So I don't know if this is like an object that you can actually interact with or if it's purely decorational, something you're going to have to find out when you go into gameplay. We have the attic stack decoration box right here. And once again, I don't know if this is an object you can use or if it's purely decorational. Uh, either way, it's kind of cool. I could see people actually making attics and things to utilize this stuff, putting it in uh, closets or other things uh, for realism. That's great. And like I said, I don't know if it's usable or if it's just a decorative piece. That'll be something we have to find out, my friends. We have this, which is the Echo Disk 51M-5 thermostat. Yes, you heard me correctly, my friends. It's the thermostat. We have never, never, as far as I know, we have never had anything like this. Uh, I have heard this is actual, actually a usable option for you. You can click it and you can heat the house and you can cool the house. I don't know how that affects anything. I mean, clearly it makes the inside of your house hot and cold, but uh, I don't know how that's gonna affect anything in gameplay, so that's gonna be fun. So we have a thermostat, my friends. We have this large pile of presents. So this one says, um, this large pile of presents can do so many things. It can be a decorative centerpiece during that special holiday, or it can be seen as a token of your love for that special someone. The best thing it can do, or let's see. Yeah, that's what it says. The best thing it can do, it can make you look like the most generous person ever. So this might be clickable, it might not be. I have zero clue. I'm just gonna pop it down over here. We're gonna check out some swatches first, of course. So we have some, uh, well, actually the purple's really pretty. I wonder if this can be used for birthdays. Guys, there's an idea. Wouldn't that be awesome if this was actually a usable thing and you could throw legit birthday parties? Okay, that would be awesome because we've never been able to throw legit birthday parties or even like baby showers or something. <gasps> the possibilities. I'm really excited about that, guys. Can you tell? Can you tell? Seasons is my favorite expansion. I always look forward to it. Anyways, we have this water balloon bucket and uh, I cannot confirm because I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that this is an object that you can use in game and from the description and from what I know from previous installments of Sims, this will probably fill up with water balloons and you can use it because uh, I think in the Sims 3 they had something similar, but it was like a... Um, I don't know, it had little barricades or something. It was like mapped out spaces of where you have um, water balloons. And I think it's the same kind of thing. You put this down on the ground and you can play. The only thing that makes me question myself is is a one tile thing. It's not like a water balloon course or whatever. So I'm really not 100%, so don't quote me on that. But I think that might be the object you need to start, start all that fun. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different rustic rinks, deluxe roller rink. So we have ice rinks and roller rinks. We have a deluxe 
and large ones. Okay, so we have small versions and large ones. So I'm not gonna bother showing the large ones because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be identical to these. So we're gonna, oh my gosh, they're huge. And the, let me see how big those other ones are. Yeah, okay. So we're not gonna put out the big ones because those are really big. That's how big they are, guys. I'm actually, how about we put one out here so you guys can compare them. Those are massive. So that's the large one and this is a small one. So honestly, I mean, clearly they're different sizes, but it's not as much difference as I thought it would be. It's not quite two for the large one, but there is the skating rink and that one is the, oh, oh my bad. That is the ice rink. This is the deluxe ice rink. So you can earn fitness skill and it provides fun. Now, I don't know if it also gives you like roller skating skill or um, ice skating skill, or if it literally is just fitness. Uh, I'm, I really don't know. Okay, so we saw that one, that's the ice rink. This is the roller rink. And this way we can see what the difference is between an ice rink and a roller rink. So with the ice rink you have, you know, obviously it, it, it shows the ice skater and it has ice and everything and it's fun. And this one, oh, that's so cute. I love it. Guys, there's lights and a sound system. That's pretty awesome. Um, I'm guessing that you get fancy lights and music then, and it maybe it's customizable. That would be really awesome. So you know what? I just realized that I never showed you the different swatches because there are different swatches. <laughs> Let me show you. Ooh, I like it that way. So we only have three different swatches for the ice rink, and we only have three for the skinny rink. So we have more retro is that one and a plain option and then kind of like a summary option. So we do have different ones. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. We've got the rustic roller rink and this one has four different options. Oh my gosh, guys, I love it. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye to this really massive one and we are gonna put this rustic one out. This is super cool. So if you guys have had the chance to watch my um, build mode video, some of this will look like other stuff we've seen. Guys, this is so cool. Okay, let me get that again and we'll scroll through some colors here. This stuff all matches the stuff from the buy mode. And I'm impressed and I love the fact that it all goes together. This is really cool. I'm gonna leave it that one. That is so cool. I love that one a lot. I love the string of lights. And of course, again, it has um, sound system. And if it, oh, guys, hold on. I am gonna turn the lights off because I want to see this. Yes. Yes, look at how they light up. This is so amazing. And I love this, uh, all these strings of lights and everything and the lights hanging up. Guys, this is amazing. These are fantastic pieces. I am excited, overly excited. And here is the rustic ice rink. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that, um, we'll put it over here, right there. So we have the rustic ice rink, roller rinks. Guys, these are so incredibly cool. I really like them a lot. Those are really neat. Okay, so we're gonna put the afternoon sun back on and we are gonna move on. We have Dr. June's weather control device and it's probably descriptive enough. So it doesn't look like there's any swatches. So what you see is what you get. And I don't know if it requires a specific skill. I didn't see anything attached to it. Um, I don't know if your skill is higher, things will happen. I am assuming because of what it says that this is how you can change what kind of weather your Sims are having that current day. Uh, we've had something similar in The Sims 3 that kind of changed it, and I think that it was like a, a rewards gift. So there's that. And like I said, you can't change the colors. So it is what it is. We've got some new food carts, which is cool. We have a fall comfort stall, and it says the fall comfort stall carries a variety of food and drinks that are perfect for when the weather changes from warm to cold. So we have that one. We have one that is a spring growth stall. The spring growth stall has a collection of fresh spring offerings ranging from food to drink that are perfect for any weather. Looks like cupcake stall. That'd be amazing. We have the summer swelter stall. What could be better than a cool refreshing lemonade or a grilled burger on a hot day? Buy a variety of food and drink from the summer swelter stall that are perfect for a classic summer day. So we have that one and we do have one more because guys, there are four seasons. So therefore they are given us four different ones. This is the winter warm up stall. What's the way to warm up in the middle of a freezing winter? Hot chocolate, of course. So don't delay, place the winter warm up stall and get that hot chocolate that you've been craving. So we have that one, all four stalls. I don't know everything that they carry. I don't know if we have new 
everything, or if they are kind of recycling the foods that are available, that are available in the game already, or if we get new recipes, because I have no idea. I haven't done any research. I have no clue. Something we're going to have to find out. That's going to be amazing. All right, we have a sprinkle o -matic 2001. Guys, look at this. It's so cool. I love it. I know that this is something we can turn on, and I have seen screenshots and stuff of Sims playing in it. So yes, it is functional. Yes, you can play in it. This is going to be amazing. And uh, I'm not 100%, but maybe that will help you if you're watering your plants for gardening. That'd be really awesome. The next thing we have here is Patchy the Straw Man. And I will scroll through some colors if he has any. He has three different colors. So we have a blue one, a pink one, and a brown one. So this is Patchy. And I have heard tales of Patchy uh, that you can kind of unlock his abilities. He can help you with gardening. Talking to him enough can unlock his outfit and you can have the Patchy's outfit. I don't know, there's a lot to this and I don't know anything because I haven't played with it myself. So yeah, that'll be something fun for down the road, my friends. And guys, we are moving into something that I am super excited about. This is Waiting with the Fishes Kitty Pool. It looks like we have two different kitty pools, but here is the first one. It's got koi fish on the bottom, kind of looks like a pond. We've got some plain options. This is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. I like the fish on that one. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here. And I saw another one, so I was gonna pull this one out too. It's the Summertime Palms Kitty Pool. And this is adorable. So I do know a little bit of information about these. And of course, because I want to show things to you and I want to tell you things, I'm going to tell you what I know. So I know a few things. I know that up to two toddlers can sit in here. Um, adult Sims will watch the tiny, tiny humans, but you can have up to two in there. Um, I believe it's children all the way up to elders. Haven't tried it, but I know that it is possible for a single older Sim to sit in one of these and more and cool off. The last thing I actually know about this is the, um, the palm tree that does not have the bird sitting on it actually turns into kind of a mister. So it kind of uh, has a lot of spray coming out and I guess it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So those are the things I do know about this kitty pool. And for the first time, this is something that we have. We've never had kitty pool for our tiny humans before. And um, for the record, I want you to know that in the create a sim area, there is now a option for swimwear for your toddlers. So that's something else. Anyways, this is the buy mode stuff. So I'm going to get back to it. We have Birdie's Bee Box. This one is pretty awesome. <laughs> There's bee costume in the Creta Sim. Yes, I'm talking about Creta Sim once again. There is a bee costume and it provides benefits, I'm assuming. But I don't know what they are because I haven't been in game to play. Uh, I have been told that if you put these bee boxes by, um, by your plants, they will pollinate them and they will bear fruit faster. If you have a good enough relationship with your bees, you can like grab a stack of bees, I guess. And there's different things that it can do. It can bring you gifts. You can um, have them pollinate your stuff or you can actually send them to attack others. Yeah, this is going to be a fun thing to play with and I cannot wait to try it out. Something else we got here is a gravity powered swing. Yes, my friends, we have swing sets. I am so excited about this because I don't know, this is like the icing on the cake if you're making like a park or something. I mean, I've been waiting for a swing set forever. So I am super, super pumped about having a swing set. So I'm gonna put the swing set over here, but guys, this is so awesome. And as far as I know, now I'm not 100% that the toddlers can use this, but I am pretty sure that at least child all the way up through elder can sit and play on this. And I'm pretty sure they've added the actions to push each other, I would think. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. We have fall branches. So we have, well, these are cool. Look at that. So are these like, I think these might be tabletop decorations and they come in a few different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put them down on something. Maybe let's try this out. We're going to, well, they don't quite mesh together, at least on this. Maybe they will if you put them on the floor. I don't know, guys, but that's pretty cute. That's really neat little uh, decor. And we have the Jolly Garlands. So we have the same kind of thing. 
let's see if they do stack on their nope no I, i'm not exactly sure how to use them but maybe if you blew them up a little bit bigger or something i don't know guys but we have uh the mistletoe option and we also have it in a spring one. Oh, look at this that's pretty hold on now wait a second there were different colors and vi didn't show you so let me show you the different colors for this one Ooh, i like the one with the white that is really pretty that is really pretty look at those different colors guys that's amazing and with the flower oh man holy moly we have lots of choices with the flowers so let you know what let's dress this part up booyah okay we're gonna do this because i don't like this block of wood and we're gonna try to make it look more beautiful so let's check out all the swatches because it's gonna be amazing i can tell that from right now these are really cool swatches <laughs> these are really cool i like this idea very much and you know i guess it dresses it up you know this might not be so bad if you put it in the garden Ooh, idea that might be kind of cool Ooh, look at this guys we've got wreaths oh wall decor it's the winter wreath and we have quite a few different choices Ooh, look at that oh now that's pretty i really like this a lot i like the wreaths i think it's a good idea and if we have garlands which i don't know if they've given us any here but i think we had some from a free holiday patch or a free holiday uh, pack update and if you guys do not have that holiday pack uh it is free if you own the sims 4 base game then you can download it so make sure you check origin and get it because uh it's going to be worth it especially with seasons it's going to add to it um here we go we have the titanic terrarium and that's kind of a cool pot I, I kind of like that. Let's let's check out some colors here. We have a lot. Um, at least nine. At least nine different color choices. That's really pretty. I like it in all the different colors. That's kind of a fun, a fun piece. I like it. Very much. Okay, we're going to leave it on that one. And what else do we have? We have a planted planter. I wonder if you can tend it. Probably not. I'm going to guess not. But I like this. I really like this a lot. This is a very cool piece. Guys, this is nifty. It looks like something that somebody would really have. Like, that's a realistic piece. I really like that. Look at the details on this. <gasps> that's my new favorite planter box. That's really cool. We have another one. Oh, I'm going to move this over here. Um, and I'm going to move you over. Over, over here. Perfect. Uh, we have this one. It's called Walling in the Garden. Let's check it out. Ooh, hey. That's cool. So anybody who is looking for greenery and wants to be space saving. Uh, I've done a couple builds or I have seen builds as well of people doing like small apartments and things like that and wanting to have vegetation to make it look like there's a big garden. Guys, there's your new piece to use. Like that's pretty awesome. I like that a lot. We also have tiered to simplicity. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Let's look at the colors. So it's the wood that's changing. Uh, the actual plants are the plants are not but the, the pots and everything whatever it's all changing forget i said anything it looks fantastic you guys can get the gist of it check it out all right so we have some more um holiday themed stuff we have a pumpkin trio and it comes with different color Ooh, that's neat i like that i'm gonna put it down in that one let's check it out it's got three pumpkins because it's a pumpkin trio get it one two three is a trio yes and it has some leaves down below that's a really neat looking piece I don't know about you, but I had custom content to make it look like I had seasons in my game quite some time ago, and I was downloading like decorative pumpkins. So it's kind of nice when they add it into my game and I don't have to use custom content. Now I like using custom content, but it's nice when I don't have to. Do you guys understand what I mean? Get my drift. Drift. Get it. Snow. Bad joke. Bad vi. And I'm going to show you the Christmas tree here. We have that one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I like it. This one. Uh, it's flocked or whatever it's called. It's pretty cool. It's uh, the do-it-yourself holiday cheer generator. Add decorations to bring the right splash of color to your holiday setting. So either you get to decorate it or that's just clever talk and it's supposed to look like it's a work in progress, which either way would be cool with me. I'd be fine either way. And the reason I'm not sure is you have this one, which is the Stroke of Midnight Department Store Holiday Spruce. So this one clearly is already done. It's got seven, eight, nine, ten different choices. Ooh, look at all the colors. Guys, this is cool. It's got a tree skirt and everything. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, a rainbow one. Fun stuff. Oh, I love all the color combinations. These are neat. 
I really like this. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on that one. Guys, that's a really neat tree. And if this one is buildable, I wonder if you can make it look like this or what? Like, I have no idea how this works. That's what gameplay is for. And that's going to be fun. Oh, <gasps> freezer style festivities. Mm, me likey freezer bunny. Let's look at, oh my gosh, how cute. Guys, this is adorable. So it's not just for Christmas. This is literally for all the different holidays. Oh, I love Freezer Bunny. Oh, look at he's so cute. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, and there's even one for weddings, grooms, brides. Oh, guys, that is stinking cute. I'm going to just leave it on. Gosh, I can't even decide which one I want to leave it on. That one. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Hear me gush. Guys, that's adorable. Um... This one, we have more decals. Let's check out their, oh, these are cute little Christmas trees. Oh, the Christmas trees with little happy faces. Oh, and a reindeer. Oh, presents, guys. I like decals like this because they're not just the same one in multiple colors. They're literally different. So that's pretty awesome. These are really cute. Some of these look like chalk drawings and they would probably be really good like um, in San Myshuno or something. These are really cute. I'm gonna just leave it on this one. There we go. And what do we have? We have Webby Spider Home Left. So it looks like we have left and we have the right spider webs. And we have them in four different colors. So if you guys have the, uh, what is it? The Spooky Day Stuff Pack. And I think maybe, maybe the vampire stuff has uh, spider webs like that, but they've given us some spider webs, whether you own those or not, which is kind of nice. Uh, we have panels of perfection. Okay, my friends, this is an amazing painting. I am a huge fan. That is really cool. I like the little barn. Ooh, that's fun too. <gasps> that's pretty. Guys, I think I like it in all the different ones to choose from. This whole thing is cool. Um, Gosh, I'll leave it on this one. Every single one of those is amazing. Those are cool. We have this one, which is take a long, hard look into the mirror. Ooh, well, it very res reminiscent of the stuff in the buy mode. Uh, we had doors and windows and stuff that kind of looked like that style, like a craftsman style. So that's pretty nice. I like the clean lines that also work really good in a modern style home. We have curtains that are long, medium, and short. And if I'm not mistaken, my walls might be medium, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick the small ones, the short ones. And we have lots of different colors. Ooh, there's the curtains for you. So actually, it's quite realistic. So, ooh, and we had, um, those were neat. Oh, those are nifty too. And those, and those. Guys, look at the variety. Those are pretty cool. So um, let me see if I can find this one. That's like, the most unique that is there. Um, I wanted to draw your attention to what I found. So normally all of these curtains, they're all flawless and perfect. But if you look at this, every third or so ring is slightly askew. And so that gives a little bit of realism because it's not always perfect in real life. Therefore, why should it be perfect in my Sims lives? Am I right? Anyways, that's pretty cool. I like that attention to detail. I like it very much. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. I know I'm skipping around a little bit and I'm sorry if I uh, was uh, making anybody sick, I'm so sorry. So we have the framed garland. So we have a garland for windows, maybe doors. That's pretty cool. It's very pretty. I really like it and it'll go great with the Christmas trees and stuff. Oh, that's gorgeous. Guys, that's gorgeous. And we have another one, festive door curtains. Okay, so, well, maybe they both are door curtains then. I don't know. This one actually says it's a door curtain. So I don't know if they're coded differently. I don't really know. But either way, these are really cool and they don't have to be for any specific holiday. They just look kind of cool. These would look really pretty in bedrooms and stuff. Guys, the wheels are turning. There are so many, like, there's so many ideas and things that I'm getting just by looking at all this stuff. And I cannot wait to get into game and try some stuff out because the stuff is amazing so far. We've got right here a plastic pumpkin eater. Holy moly. Um, we've got a pumpkin. How many different colors do we have? Well, maybe it's not colors. Maybe it's faces. It is faces. So with spooky day stuff, um, 
we had pumpkin, a pumpkin carving station, and you could make a bunch of different faces, and you could have pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, and they were usable. I think this might literally just be for um, ambience. It's uh, environment plus one, so I'm assuming you can't do anything with it. It just sits there and looks cute. So now for those people who want to decorate, don't have to actually sit there and carve a pumpkin, you can just buy one. Fabulous. I like the idea. There's three of these little guys. Well, they're pretty cute. Then the little nutcracker guys. Oop. Stop spinning around, sir. There we go. So I will leave him on this one. We've got totally real reindeer. Oh, guys, these are cool. Look at that. Those are fun. I like this piece. This is good. This would work even for like, um, what is it? In Granite Falls? Granite Falls builds, whether it's Christmas time or not. Like that would be kind of cool. <laughs> I like it. We also have Boris the Nutcracker Prince, and he is a larger standing one. Oh my gosh, he's pretty tall. He's, he's more than halfway up the Christmas tree. So this is kind of a big statue. Kind of creepy, kind of cool at the same time. Um, very traditional for Christmas. So there we go. We have this one, the Llama Co. Outdoor Lantern Post. So there must be, or there might be connector pieces to this. That's kind of a mystery. There, it only comes in one color. And I don't know, it just says, the simple yet sturdy post is designed to complement the Llama Co outdoor lanterns. But if you wanna put a random stick in your yard, we won't judge. So we'll be looking for lanterns, I suppose, because I'm not exactly sure what to do with them, my friends. The real square shady umbrella, that is. Oh my gosh, guys, the puns and stuff, holy moly. That's okay, I forgive you. It's kind of fun to have that little haha -ha factor anyways. But here's a little sunshade. I like the color choices they've given us and I do approve of the patterns. Those are pretty cool. Ooh, I like this one. I'm gonna leave it on that one, I do like it. So that'd be good for our little sunbathers or something. We have a gold scouting trophy. So this right here, um, these three trophies, cause I see three of them here. It says it's unlocked by reaching level blank of the scouting career. So it's a level four for this one, a level three for this one, and a level five for this one. So there are unlockable goodies, and I'm assuming that goes with the scouting board. So those must be the, the badges or whatever that you get, or I have no idea. Don't listen to me, I'm not really sure. We have a rustic seasonal signage, which this would really be good um, over in Granite Falls again. If you have Granite Falls, this would be another little thing to put out, possibly, or even um, downtown builds, because it's got the stuff for your skating and stuff like that, so I'm going to put that out there. And we have this, which is a lump of coal, and I don't know if this is just ambient or if they can actually use this at some point. Um, how much is it? It is $10 worth of nothing but a piece of rock, a coal, a coal piece. Um, I know that you can give gifts now. And maybe you can give that away. Uh, I don't know if any Sims would appreciate it, but that would be something to find out later, guys. Um, we have a sorted holiday card display. So I'm gonna put that one over here on this, uh, this secretary desk. And all these are pretty cute. I like it. They're hitting all the different holidays, of course, because that's how they roll. And I like it. I'm gonna leave it on this one. We've also got this right here, the Horn of Plenty. We have four different color choices for this one. And let's just, uh, let's put it here on this rock. Rock? That's not really a rock by, um, on this table. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm getting too excited about all this new goodies here. We have the Spires of Whimsy, which is like birthday hats, little birthday hats here or something like that. So. Look at all the different stuff. Party hats, that's what it is. Not necessarily birthday hats, but just celebration party hats. And I'm just gonna stop right there and put them in there. Um, we've got the rabbit's hat. Oh, some more party stuff. Well, that's kind of cool. Guys, this is neat. I like it. I'm gonna leave it on that one. We're not gonna scroll through all of them because there are a million choices for all of these decorative objects. We have tons of decorative objects, it's crazy. We have this one, the umbrella rack. And I have seen in the trailer and stuff that the Sims actually use umbrellas. I didn't see anything in the create a Sim, and this is the first time we have come across umbrellas yet. So I don't know if they can uh, 
like customize the umbrellas in here or how that works, but gameplay is something that will show us exactly what we want to know. So I hope you guys have fun discovering all kinds of things like that. We also have Scott's Summer Fun Basket, and the description on this one is crazy long. Um, so I'm not even going to attempt to read that, but it's got blankets and towels and that kind of stuff, and that's a piece. I'm not thrilled about the piece, but you know, whatever. It, it might be cool for you. I don't know. We have a welcome mat, and it's a nice small welcome mat, so even better. Guys, um, it's really neat that we can size items up and down now, but I kind of like being able to start with a small rug because sometimes you can't get the size just right, even with the size down option. And uh, so I really like this because you can make it bigger, etc. but it's just really pretty cool. I like it. We're going to leave that rug there. And we also have Gems of the Season rug. And this one is pretty cool too. Oh, I like it. It looks like chalk drawings or something. And that looks like carpet. These are pretty. I could see myself using this in builds. This is, this is a nice rug. I'm going to leave it on that one. Those are pretty. That's a good runner rug. Um, perfectly preserved rug. So we have another rug, of course, guys. Lots of rugs and stuff. Ooh, that's kind of a fun pattern. It's kind of retro. This looks like flowers, or maybe it is, um, I don't know, uh, what do you call it? Fireworks, maybe it's fireworks. And we have some plain options too, so you don't have to have patterns and funky fun. Um, here's a puddle and fabric. It's kind of a very weird rug. It almost reminds me of like a pear, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I guess if you're looking for a statement piece, this might be the statement piece you're after, but I'm not a fan of this rug. It's a little too weird for me. I don't think I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna move some stuff over here because I realized that we have a fireplace and I didn't really leave any room for the fireplace. So we have one fireplace that's called Wrapped in Ribbon. Ooh, that is so beautiful. <gasps> Guys, that is so pretty. Look at that fireplace. I cannot wait to get into game and turn this fireplace on and have like the snow coming down through the windows. Oh, how romantic and awesome. That's going to be super cool. Um, we have these flowers, not impressed overly, but this might be really cute in like, um, I don't know, a nursery room maybe might be kind of cute. We've got the pop-up tissue paper garland. So we have some garlands. I want to see if they connect with each other or not. They do. That is pretty awesome. Let's check out some different colors. Ooh, fancy. And they don't really look Christmas or whatever. Ooh, those look really nice. So these are kind of for all seasons. I'm seeing fall and love day and all kinds of fun stuff. So we have different patterns. There's stars. Guys, these are pretty neat. We also have Garland Express. So obviously these are more of your Christmassy garlands. And I'm guessing that they also connect. So let's find out. They do. They're going to make it look kind of like a swag or whatever. I think that's what you call them, but I'm not 100%. Oh, guys, this is pretty cool. The fall twined twigs. So we had those, but now we have a fall version too. And that is really cool. Look at the little hanging acorn in the middle. That is super cute. That is a really cute piece. I'm gonna leave it right there. I really like that one. And we have party wallflowers. Ooh, these look like paper. Is that what it said? Maybe that's what it said. No, it said party wallflowers. It didn't say paper. Those are really pretty. Let's check out the colors. I like these. These are nice, I like it. Let's leave them at this one. We've got all weather summer spindle. So let's see, does it mean that every season is on this one, or are they just kind of Christmassy? Nope, they're kind of everything, but after seeing all of the other ones, I'm kind of less than impressed with this one. In comparison, I hate using this word for anything sim stuff, but in comparison to the other ones, I find it ugly. Just being honest, telling you my truthful thoughts. We have this inclusive party banner. All right. Looks like it might say like holiday or happy or who knows, celebrate, I don't know. So this is kind of fun. I don't think I love it. I could see this being used for um, restaurants. That screams restaurant stuff. Um, here we go with some seasonal bunting. So I'm guessing that these are gonna connect with each other too. Let me, let me put one next to each other and see what happens. They do. They connect basically flawlessly. So we have lots of different choices with this. Let me 
Let me just scroll through the colors so you guys can see them. All the different holidays are being hit and they have some really cute patterns. A couple ones that are plain, bright colors. I like it. And we've got the happy H A L L I days. Happy H all a days. I don't know how you would actually say that other than happy holidays, Banner Garland. I'm making things a lot more difficult than it is, my friends, if you haven't been able to tell. These are really cute. These are really cute. I approve of these a lot. Look at the detail of the drawings on them. Guys, these are cool. These are super cool. I'm going to leave it like this and I'm just going to put another one next to it. Look at that. I love those. That is really cool. And we also have the vertically gifted wall hanging. So we have um, like little wall decor pieces. Ooh, looks like ribbons and stuff. These are pretty cool. Look at that. Guys, these are nifty. I see lots of potential with this stuff. These are pretty neat. I really like them. Well, we'll stop on that one and move on because we have a lot of decorations with seasons and all the stuff that they've done with the holidays. I don't know if you've been able to see kind of a pattern going on here, guys, but the majority of the stuff that we're seeing is decorative stuff. So we have lots of decor. The card wall display. So we have a bunch of seasonal cards. So just like the banners and everything else, we have seasonal cards, which is amazing. I love this stuff. This is bread and butter for me. This is the stuff that I've been waiting for. Like I am legitimately grinning like, I don't know, a kid in a candy store. I'm so incredibly impressed with what I've seen. I'm so incredibly excited to play with this stuff. Um, I don't know, this is great. This is great. These are really nifty. The variation on like this, this particular one, uh, it's intersecting. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Those are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And just like the other stuff, I'm like 90% sure that they hook up next to each other. That is so cool. We've got some towels for the bathroom. Let's check out the different patterns for the bathroom towels. That's pretty awesome. Um, I feel that we're lacking in stuff like bathroom towels or bathroom decor period. So I approve of this. That's pretty nice. We've also got the bathroom organizer. Yay for bathroom goodies, like I was just saying. I'm like, yay for more bathroom stuff. Let's check this uh, this fancy doodad out here. We've got, uh, got some stuff in here. There's towels and there's a box uh, of stuff and there's some bottles and things. That's pretty awesome. Standard wood choices. And guys, just so you know, we are just about done. Hang here with me for just a little bit longer. I realize there's a ton of stuff, but I wanted to show off everything so we have a ceiling garland guys this is a hangy downy thing look at this this is so cool i love it um i don't have a light let's see we do have lights right lanterns of insight nope those are not lights okay guys here's the light the dome ceiling light i'm gonna put some ceiling lights in here and uh here's the different colors for those actually they have quite a few different color choices i'm impressed I'm actually quite impressed with those. They're really nice. So we're going to put a few of these out here so that we have a little bit of light and I can show you what's going on. Here's the festive garlands. These are really nifty. Like those are really cool. And since they're ceiling, you could basically hang them anywhere, I wager. So you could hang them right above a, um, a window, but not on your wall. These are really cool. Very cool piece. And uh, these lanterns of insight and the suspended stars, they do the same thing. This is super cool. I love the two-tone colors of this one. That's neat. And I'm going to scooch you this over here. Let's move you over. And I wanted to show the lanterns of insight. So here's the lanterns. Aren't these cool? Like these are just really cool. I'm impressed with these things. I think they're fun. Um, I'm bummed that these are not actually lights, but I will say that they're still pretty awesome. <laughs> Those are pretty neat. Um, right here, we have the scouting manual. Oh, hey, this is another unlockable object. It says it's unlocked by reaching level two in the scouting career. So it is a career. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's teen only. I know teens can use it, but I don't know if your kids have access to this or not. Gameplay will determine that. And I want to leave some secrets for you guys to have fun. 
We have Tis the Season Kids Activity Table. This is a fun, it's for children only, and it's the creativity skill. Ooh, so we get another one of these. Fun. Uh, the ones from Cats and Dogs were really awesome. They were probably my favorite ones to date, but I'm not gonna say no to having more because this one's kinda neat. Look at this, we have like different colors of ribbon and always the details on these guys. Always the details on these. Um, I don't know if there are different things that your kids can do on these activity tables now that we have seasons. So maybe some of these decorations, you know, like the garlands and stuff. I don't know, maybe some of those things are unlockable. I have no idea. That would be fun to find out. Uh, we have the Happy Holiday Floor Lanterns. Ooh, guys, we're gonna have to see what these look like uh, at nighttime. These are, um, what do we call these? They have a different name other than floor lanterns. I'm trying to think of what we used to call these. I did these kinds of things. Um, when I was a kid during the Christmas time, we made these and I can't remember what they were called. Gosh darn. Leave me comments down, down below if you call them something other than just like bag lanterns. There's another word for them and I can't remember what it is. Okay, so it looks like we have uh, another candle, something. Oh, that's really cute. Hey guys, this is adorable. Mm, I love it. This is super cute. I will tell you one thing that I have learned about sizing up and down objects. When you size up and down objects like lanterns and things that are candles, it doesn't really work very well. Um, the light, the little candle part, it's not very friendly and it's, it, it makes the glow weird. Just, just throwing that out there so you guys know. Um, they're not something you wanna mess with sizing up and down, it doesn't look right. So this is very similar to the, um, well, both of these are. Uh, the holiday branches and things that we had, but now these actually have candles with them. So I think those are kind of neat. So you have a little bit of variance. You have some with candles and then some over there with not. We have a menorah, which is really awesome. Do they come in different colors? This one does come in different colors. So I will show you the different colors. Those are really pretty. That's a, quite the attractive menorah. And honestly, if you didn't want to use it for that type of a holiday, this one right here, I mean, guys, this piece overall, it just looks neat. Like that's pretty awesome. I like it. We have another one. Uh, we have this, uh, let, no, let's see, this is not a good place to put it. Let's put it over. Ooh, we should use our sideboard a little bit. Okay, here's another one. And this one is just changing the base. The uh, All of the candles stay the same. So I will leave it on that one. We will just leave it there. We have this lamp. It is the three tiered table lamp. It's actually kind of a big lamp, if I'm honest, and I'm not really a huge fan of it. Um, I wouldn't say it's ugly, because I won't go that far, but I'm not impressed with it. Maybe it looks better with the lights off, I don't know, but I'm not overly impressed with that one. Uh, here we go. We have pine fresh candles. So we have, oh, that's cute. I like this one. Those are, those are really pretty. So we have some candles with some greenery and some ribbons on them. Oh, and it looks so cute with all of the candles lit. I like it. Crosby the Glow Man. Oh my gosh, guys. This is stinking cute. How many options do we have for colors? We have a few. Oh, <gasps> guys, this is so adorable. I wonder if the snowmen that we can make in game look like this. This is adorable. I hope they do because that is so incredibly cute. I love it. Less is more floor lamps. So we have another floor lamp and I don't like it. Um, I am quite the one for symmetry and because it's a quote realistic looking stick, I don't like it. Guys, I don't like the lamp. I don't like it at all. No, I don't. Illuminating tombs, right? Yeah, illuminating tombs. Guys, this looks like something we got from the Spooky Day stuff pack. Um, I think this was both a smart move and a bad move on EA's part because I see something else that is very much like what we have already. For those who have the Spooky Day stuff pack, um, I don't know, this may invalidate people actually purchasing the Spooky Day stuff pack because if I'm honest, there's not really much in that pack that's worth it. And the fact that they give you kind of a couple of the, the good items from that, it's gonna deter people from purchasing that. I do like the fact that they give it to you um, so that people can enjoy those holidays anyways, but I don't know if I really like that entirely. Just saying, that's just my two bits on that. All right, so we have, what is this? The Seasons Greetings Ceiling Lamp. So we have a ceiling lamp. Oh, that's cute. Look at the little snowman that I was so gaga about. And this doesn't even look like it's a holiday. This could be used for like, guys, 
you know what this looks like to me? Okay, I better keep going through all of these colors. Um, this looks like something that would be hanging in a castle. Guys, it does, doesn't it? Which one? It was that one. It looks like it belongs in a castle idea. If you steal that idea from me, that's okay. I just gave it to you. It's going to be fantastic. Tag me in your build. <laughs> that's all I ask. Tag me in the build. Okay, so we have the lumbering wall light. So it literally looks like what I would consider kind of like a railroad tie piece of wood on the wall. Um, I don't like it. I'm not impressed. Not impressed, guys. Not impressed. The Tinker's Wall Light. Is this something that I can put on? No, it's not. I don't understand what it is with this um, post then, because these don't go on it. I, I don't, I'm confused. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, so I really like this uh, wall light. Yes, it is very simple. But guys, I have been looking for something like this. Um, I built my real life house, and I've been looking for lamp or lanterns like this because that's very much like what I have at my house so I'm excited about that I can be excited about wall lights I can here's another wall light that I am actually not very excited about um looks like something we already have in game and I don't know what pack or if it was base game but I wasn't excited about it then and this one is so much like it and I'm not excited by this one so overall the light fixtures mm, I'm not excited but wait here guys hey this might be what to do with it this might be the other piece. Hey. Okay, let's look at some colors real quick. Ooh, fun. Guys, the colors are cool. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Okay, we're going to scroll in. Look at those. Those are really, really stinking cute. Oh, I like these. These are really cute. And they have some plain options too. I approve. Color me impressed. I really like that. Okay, so now we know what this post is for. These are the lanterns it was talking about. So you have that, and then here's the connector piece. Boom, done, holla. Okay, I am going to put it over here, however, to show that those are op like actual pieces, separate pieces, but that's pretty awesome. We also have the Cozy Craftsman street lamp. Ooh, street lamp. And guys, this matches our uh, rustic stuff over here. That's pretty awesome, I like it. We're gonna, we're just gonna shove it over here somewhere. <laughs> Anything in the build mode, this stuff matches exactly. So I really like that because everything matches and that makes building that much easier. And it's not such a stretch trying to find stuff that goes together. We've got a festively fashioned mailbox. Hey guys, we get a new mailbox. I've been waiting for new mailboxes. I get tired of the ones we've got. So, and these are actually really pretty sleek. I like it. <gasps> Christmassy ones, guys, Christmassy ones. These are fun. All of these are fun. Hey, I really like this. Good job. Good job, EA. I approve greatly. This is fun. And look how many different choices. Guys, you get a million choices with this. That is pretty awesome. I'm going to leave it at this one just because that's quite outlandish and awesome. <laughs> that's pretty cool. We also have a Rackham and Stackham bookcase. So we got one bookcase and I'm kind of running out of space for tall objects. So I'm gonna put it over here because I think it'll be probably the best place to put it. And we're gonna look at all of our, no, we're not gonna look at all of them guys. And we're not because these are standard colors and I don't feel like we need to scroll through them, but we can take a minute to look at all the details. So we have a couple of these little uh, pine coney things and we have a wooden bookcase end, a bookend. And I don't know, we have some little details which are pretty cool. And I'm guessing that you will be able to stack things on these open places. So that gives you a little bit more customization, which is amazing. All right, we also have the Daring Dresser. So we have a dresser, yay! Um, I can't remember which expansion or which stuff pack it was, um, but there was one that I was so bummed that we didn't have a dresser. And I wanna say, don't quote me because I'm not 100%, but I wanna say that it was with the Laundry Day stuff pack that we did not get a dresser. So my friends, now we have a dresser and I actually really like it. This is really pretty. We also have the Budding Blossom Bureau. So we have two dressers, guys, we have two dressers. And this one matches the end table. Ha, huh? brilliant. Okay, I am going to move this bed back here and let's check out this dresser. And I'm gonna scroll through some colors so you guys can see them. This is pretty cool. I like it a lot. I really like this a lot. I'm gonna leave it at that one. That is such a pretty dresser. I love it. So it looks like we have some things from the buy mode and we also have one, two, three, four. We have four of these, uh, unlocks at level four and five. 
So these unlock at four and five of the gardening skill. They're seasonal summer plants, seasonal fall plants, seasonal winter plants, and seasonal spring plants. So like I was saying a while ago, like probably near the beginning of this, that they overhauled everything for um, gardening. Well guys, they have specific seasonal plant packets. So I'm guessing you open these up and it's got those specific seeds that you can plant and that is pretty stinking amazing. So guys, looking at everything here, this is everything from my knowledge. This is everything uh, from the buy mode for the new seasons. Seasons! Expansion pack guys, seasons. This is amazing. Tons and tons of decor items and a bunch of amazingness is gonna happen. I cannot wait to see what you guys build with this stuff. I cannot wait to get into game and try out all this stuff because there's so much new things. I love this. So guys, thank you so much for taking the time. If you made it to the end of the video, leave me a comment down below and say, I made it to the end of your video because you have been sitting here for probably close to an hour. Oh my gosh, guys, there was so much stuff in here, but I could not not show you everything. So guys, I hope you enjoyed checking it all out and I hope you guys have fun playing this. Go out there and be a pineapple. Stand up tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.